At 9.30 this morning, the Home Office published their migration statistics for last year. Before I go into the numbers, but suffice to say they are simply enormous, I want to think for a moment about the politics of this. You see, the Conservatives were elected to power in 2010, promising to reduce net migration to tens of thousands. They failed. But they made the same promise again in the 2015 manifesto. They're going to reduce net migration to tens of thousands. And they failed. And then blow me down. In the 2017 manifesto, they promised they would reduce net migration to tens of thousands. And in 2019, they said they would take back control of immigration with hints that numbers would come down. So we're in the 14th year of a Conservative government. And by any marker, whether it's legal migration or illegal migration, they have failed. And it's one of the reasons they're in so much trouble with their 2019 voters, especially those who've made the journey through UKIP, etc., from the Labour Party to the Conservatives, because for them, Brexit was about borders more than anything else. But don't worry, it's all OK. There's a new plan. Rishi's going to get tough. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Skilled workers to earn at least £38,000 a year, up from £26,000 a year. There'll be a ban on foreign workers in homes, bringing in family members, etc., um, etc. Et a review of the graduate route for immigrants will be launched. And they're promising us now that this time, if we re-elect them, numbers will come down significantly. So let me ask you. Do you believe Rishi Sunak? Farage at GBNews.com. Or you can tweet hashtag Farage on GB News. I don't believe a word of it. And to be honest with you, I don't think they ever believed a word of it. I think they're too far in hock to big employers in this country who want as much cheap labour as possible. That's my view.